In this problem, we want to find the amount of work done on a particle by the electric field as the particle moves through a potential difference. Now, first things first, it says that the particle starts at a point of positive 125 volts and ends at a point of negative 45 volts. So to find the actual potential difference here, we'll take the final position and, and subtract from it the initial position. So that's negative 45 volts minus 125 volts. And in a calculator or just doing the math on paper, the potential difference here is negative 170 volts. Now for actually finding the work, we're given a formula that relates potential difference to work. And it states that the potential difference through from uh, between points B and A is equal to negative of the work done through that difference divided by the charge of the particle. So algebraically rewriting this to solve for work, we find that the work is equal to negative Q times the potential difference. So now we just want to plug in some stuff into there. So first for the charge, the the problem mentions that it's a proton. And so a proton has an electric charge of 1.60 times 10 to the power of a negative 19 coulombs. And the voltage is, as we mentioned earlier, negative 170 volts. So if we put this into our calculator, then we find a, we find a work of about 2.72 times 10 to the power of negative 17 joules. And so that is the amount of work done by the electric field on the proton in joules. The problem also mentions that we want to find this answer in electron volts. And using, electron, using units of electron volts doesn't change the process at all, but it does mean that instead of using coulombs for the charge, we're just going to use uh, units of E of the electron of electron units for the charge. So it's the exact same formula, except instead of using uh, negative, instead of using 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs for charge, we're just going to use very simply 1e, because that is the charge of, that, that's the charge of a proton in terms of e, the elementary charge, which has the same value in coulombs of 1.60. Of M7 to the 19 and all that. They're equal. They're equal charges. But yeah, so we use the exact same voltage and we don't even really need to put this into our calculator since just looking at this you can see this is equal to 170 electron volts. And there we go. That's the answer to the problem. That's the, that's the work done in both types of units. So that's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me make more videos like this. But if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video or you just want to hang out, I have my Discord server and my Twitch page both linked in the description down below. But that's all for this video and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye bye